Welcome to the Satro's Luck family. This is Jacket Soluadi Satro, and I'll always have my friend here. This being. is Dad Satro, the most handsome, yekebo, Africanicious, and eh? a physical one, adrenaline pumping husband. Who well, are always happy having you coming back every time to the Satro's Luck family. In case you're not yet subscribed, please, what are you doing? Subscribe and press the notification bell. And want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, retweeting. Please don't stop. A big thank you goes to all our patrons on this channel, and you can actually be part of our patrons for as low as three dollars per month the patreon link is in the description box below yeah the other time we came to you with the angela and michael story the intercontinental <clears throat> wedding okay we want to be talking a little bit about what happened in this dear <clears throat> so-called wonderful mm, relationship and that is why i'm going to be asking you as an african man that is trying to marry a westerner can you allow to be slapped? To be slapped, to be slapped. To be slapped. My wife is confused about that question. Actually, that's what actually <laughs> happened. Uh, Angela slapped the husband to be. Before wedding, there was a slap. So how are we going to be sure that after the wedding, there is not going to be more slap? So today, I want you to see a beautiful coupling relationship. <laughs> coupling, coupling. Where a man gets slapped. I'm not fat. I'm not fat. Actually, you know what? In the Western world, for a lady to slap a man doesn't mean anything. But right here in Africa, that is a word, tabulization. Let me tell you, to be slapped in the Western world is what we call a sign of romantic slap. Romantic slapiologist. But in Africa, man for, for a lady to even raise up her, her hands against a man is a taboo. In some culture, you have to kill goats. You have to kill cow. You have to... No, 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 no. no. That is totally... Mm, a busculubunto. And that's where my question the other day, if you've not watched the first episode of this uh, talk on this uh, marriage between Angela and Michael, you just got to do because the other day I was saying that are they going to manage each other considering their cultural backgrounds and every other thing right here in Africa, it's, it's very, very, it's an aberration. You can't... Objection. I don't think it's an aberration for Angela to slap Michael simply because... His grandma trying to punish grandson. Oh, sorry. Mommy trying to punish son. <laughs> Actually, if you look at the age difference, difference of 20 years, uh -uh, I think Michael needs more slap. So kudos to Angela. Give him a romantic slap so that his brain can be what? Fine-tuned to know that in the Western world, we don't call, we don't address lady as fat. But in Africa, we call... Some things that you guys don't allow there. When we even say it, it might not be this. It might just say, ah, this, this my. I'm sorry, my wife is not fat. You can say this my, <laughs> this my, this my wife is fat. No, but outside the world there, in the Western world, if you try to call anybody fat, it's an abusive language. But that's to show you that Michael has a whole lot to learn of what to do and what not to do. If not, you're Jeff 40. <laughs> but is your clientele now? I don't even know what you're standing in for today, Mr. Setro. I think the other day you adopted this young man as your clientele that in this rural court of law, you are going to be defending him right now. And that was why I, when I was shouting that day, you were like, objection, no, that is it. That it's is why I said objection. Mm -mm. The people know you with this, your objection. They said the constant thing on this channel is this objection. And it's from Mr. Senna. Morogo. <laughs> you, you that sent in that comment. I'm watching you on DVD. <laughs> and so that's just it. On a more serious note, 
Mm, I don't want to believe, uh, we're not just taking this as a vlog, you know, we are also African couples and we have some persons that have intercontinental uh, marriages and some of them are actually working. The thing is, you've got to sit down. That was what I will keep saying it, I'll keep reiterating. I was really mentioning that Mr. Cedric did not allow me to learn. You have to study. He said, uh, St. Michael has studied their culture, da, 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 da. You have to really take time. What somebody, like, do you know that right here, even in Africa, some persons, uh, got wedded like I heard and over the night the day of their wedding they fought and they broke Why did they Are fight? you referring to the couple? Maybe she's referring to the couple that got married and the married God as in the married God dissolved the night Why? They were fighting over meat <laughs> This one Because the wife took meat first and in African believe in some parts you dare not you, just, you dare not try it the husband must take meat first before you do. So that's to tell you that if you want to cross marriage, you must open your eyes very well. And you know, in some part of Africa, the, the, the husband, like the Western world I came from, the tribe called the Yorubas, of which I'm from, they'll call the husband the Olori Ebi, Bale Yinko. Before you serve him, you go after, you've got to kneel down. <laughs> Can you imagine? Of, the meaning of Olori Ebi, tell them. Yeah, the head of the house. Yeah. That the man is the head of the house. And before you could you can serve him his food, you have to be on your knees. Bale why cabal. When I got married, my <laughs> do you want to hear it? Let her expose herself. Tell me I <laughs> if you want to hear it. Give this video a thumbs up. So uh my my grand my grandmother-in-law, because is she's still very much alive, she's like 98 years, is is his grandma. When he wants to ask of my husband, he say, Oluwa <laughs> Yinko. No, you mean of that? What about your Lord? Lord. Lord. <laughs> Lord, Lord. That right here in Africa, there is this uh, egocentrism as in over of the men. The, you dare not. You a woman. Ah, ah, ah. If you want to even do some things. I knew when I started. You have to watch that. You see what I'm doing. And you have to watch that video on our women. I knew without Mr. Setro. Mm -hmm. Objection. <laughs> Let me expose her. When she got married to me, that's how she will do. She will bring the food and be in and I was like, ah. I was now wondering, did I marry a wife or a slave? I, I just called. I said, excuse me, please. <laughs> you, are, you are embarrassing me. If I need a housemaid, I know where to get them in the market. Just tell one or two people. I can you won't be coming and be because I know that this thing will not last. <laughs> so we'll start what will not last. Let me it. tell you another story. Let me tell you another story. You know what? Uh, actually, one of those days when I was in church, uh, when my husband actually told me we can be relating freely. Let me tell you, it's for crying out loud, it's that serious in Africa and in the western part of uh, Africa, Nigeria, where I came from, you've got to respect your husband as if he's your lord, is your everything, is your master, and you just got to be bound down. Mm, yes, lord. Yes, master. So... When my husband told me, no, it's not like that. We are free. It's a free relationship. Just talk to me. Call me by my first name. I just call him Ife. That's his name. He's proud. Why I'm, is not proud? I'm proud you? <laughs> I just call him Ife. 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 Stop Shebe. Ma Shebe. I don't like it. <laughs> so, you know, I was in church one day and I was calling my husband Ife. Do you know what? I got this coding of my life. <laughs> I was so surprised when a particular aged woman or middle age came up. I was like telling her, no, no, don't do that. Immediately. I stood up, I said, please. I'm the one that asked her to call me by my name. <laughs> she said, what's that? She said, sister, let me tell you. I, please, I want to tell you. Be doing as we are taught. Let's be respecting her. <laughs> so, can you see culture? Just, they saw me calling my husband by pet name, first name. To her, that means I'm, I'm not respecting him. I'm not giving him his position. I'm a, that is African but culture. But actually, I want to correct it from today. You'll be calling me daddy. <laughs> God forbid. I'm a daddy. <laughs> actually, most of the African culture, they are there to guide, to correct the excesses that is possible between husband and wife, between male and female. And let me tell you, the same way you in the Western world, you are looking at the African as, as culture as what well, somehow late and what have you. That's the same way we are looking at you guys. Then when you say, you know, when the ladies have more power over their husband there, 
Africans they can't stand it. <laughs> they can you can't survive it two minutes in Africa. Do you know that to some extent, some African men, uh, maybe the eastern part of Africa, if I'm wrong, I stand to be corrected. You know what? Um, I'm not I'm not cockishious. Anything I'm saying, you can correct me if it's wrong. You know, I think the most part is uh, the eastern part of Nigeria that I know of. Most of them don't like their wives to work. They want to be the one taking care of everything and they want to just be in, they want to be the one controlling everything. I want to feel so. If I'm wrong, you can tell me. Actually, what the easterners <laughs> do is that they so much cherish their wife to the point that they don't want the wife to work. Just be at home, take care of the home, take care of daddy when he comes back. Let daddy go and work. You understand? And with this, the Eastern ladies in Africa, in Nigeria to be precise, they are what we call enjoyment galorado. They are enjoying, no stress, you know, all those stuff. They just be at home, do nice makeup, sit down in parlor, that's when they begin to watch home video. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There are still so many things to discuss on this intercontinental marriage. I'd like to know your culture there. You know, most of you are subscribers. You asked for this. You want to know our culture. But actually, is it true that in the Western world, the female has more power, they have more remote control, just like in Africa, the men have so much remote control. But let me tell you, in Africa, I think the remote control that is placed in the hand of men is too much. They can remote everything. They can remote it to toilet and no, no, no. But we still have some persons that have been able to what to control themselves, and both husband and wife are enjoying what we call selenkejo. <laughs> and that's what on today's show. Before we end, I'm going to be asking you the question of the day of this video. Bagang. Number one. Mm -hmm. Do you think giving the men the right to control the women in Africa is really good for African women? I don't think the word control should be used here. I think the word should be mutual relationship sharing of remote that is the question to our viewers let them answer number two mm -hmm. are you ready mm -hmm. yeah do you think actually in the western world also allowing the females to have more power than the men it's really okay or it's really is it really operational because i'm, I'm not being to the west i'm telling you of africa where i'm in, in do you feel tell us your pros and your cons tell us why you feel that just oppose this and that and let us have it in the i think the female should be given more powers yeah, because they are the one that used to have bugum bagum <laughs> they are the one that used to carry the baby so they should be given more power so that they can demand for their right from these men because some men they can be so Moscobos. Oh, in fact, they can be so Moscobos indeed. So that's just it. But ah, please, oh, the men. I'm at your side, though. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in between. Do you know about people who say koshe ku koshe ye? Does not do rat, does not do bed. It's not a rat, it's that's, not a bird. That's what they call a bat. Oh, we, we. <laughs> Actually, we want to hear from you. We are not siding anybody, but we just want to enjoy the flow. Okay, that's just it on today's show. Don't forget the joy therapy. Whatever is happening around you is just a means of destabilizing you. Remember that joy is highly therapeutic. Our own joy comes from above. You may inbox us to know why we're happy despite all that is happening around. And we want to say, if you're not a subscriber, what are you doing? Stop shibet. Don't shibet. Don't do like that. Please subscribe and press the notification bell. And we remain the setters. We love you. We care about you. What of your hug therapy? You are dancing. I don't want to talk about hug therapy today. If it's doing you too much, hug your pillow. Ah, it's wrong. It's not right. Okay. With that being said, if you really want to live a long-lasting life, always hug your wife to increase the number of your days by skorumbus katandos. What if they are not married? If you are not married, go and pray. You need a wife. You need a husband. <laughs> if you are not married, go and do Bible. <laughs> And that's just it on the lighter mode today. So, till we come your way next time, we remain the setros. Love you. Catch you. Bye bye. You may like to watch this video.